Hello and welcome to lesson eight. And in this lesson, we will look at possessive apostrophes. In legal writing, there are some legal rules, and those rules are called legal English writing conventions. One convention is that you should not use contractions. What are contractions? Contractions are where we join two words together. So you should say should not. You cannot write shouldn't. You should write will not. You cannot write won't. You can write I will. You can't write I'll. These. This is an example of a legal English writing convention, and everyone should follow those rules. However, there is one contraction we can use, and that contraction is formed when we use possessive apostrophes. For example, you might see a sentence that says the ruling of the court. Here we can say the court's ruling. That's okay. You might see the decision of the lawyer, in which case we can write the lawyer's decision. That's okay. You might see a meeting of the clients, and you can write the clients' meeting, and that's okay. This is a good rule because it helps us avoid sentences like this: the meeting of the shareholders, of the capital group, of the client. These sentences where we have of the, of the, of the. These are difficult sentences to read, and they are confusing sentences to read. So, if we can use possessive apostrophes correctly, we are making the reader's life a lot easier. We have to be careful to use possessive apostrophes carefully. What do I mean by this? The ruling of one court is courts. Not court. Now look at the screen behind me, and have a look at the position of the possessive apostrophe. If I am talking about one court, it goes before the s. If I am talking about more than one court, it goes after the s. Have a look at the second sentence. It's lawyers. One lawyer's decision, not many lawyers' decision. But that third sentence. The meeting of the clients. We are talking about more than one client, so that possessive apostrophe goes after the s. If you're not sure about what the rules are for possessive apostrophes, please have a look on the internet. Type in possessive apostrophes into Google, or have a look at a good grammar book, and you'll find the rules there. Okay, so you can use possessive apostrophes in legal English. It's okay. You can do it. It makes reading a lot easier. Using possessive apostrophes shows that you're thinking about the client or the judge, and you're trying to make their lives easier. And you do that because you clearly show what belongs to who, and of course you use less words to communicate. Your message. Okay, it's time for some questions. Read the sentences below and redraft, rewrite the text in bold using possessive apostrophes instead. Remember the rules about plural nouns and possessive apostrophes. For example, one client's matter, two clients' matter. Look at the position of those possessive apostrophes. Let's have a look at an example sentence,、uh, an example question. The meeting of the shareholders will take place tonight. Becomes the shareholders meeting will take place tonight. And of course, I am saying that there is more than one shareholder there because of the position of the possessive apostrophe. Okay. Good luck.